How's it going, YouTube? Immortal Dragon Lord here, bringing you another Dragon Age Inquisition video. It's come to my attention that not a lot of weapons and armor have been uh, posted onto YouTube for this game. I mean, there have been some, like a guide for the Sulavine Blade and other gear like that, but not so much for schematics. There have been a few, but not a whole lot, especially with some of the newer stuff that come out as of the new patch and the trespasser DLC so I figured I would sh I would create this video as a guide to show you all how to get a particular schematic for a weapon called the dancer's axe this is a two-handed battle axe and I think I think the axe just looks really cool but anyway here's how you get it. the first thing you want to do is in order to get this axe you need to get a particular operation called Judgment Morven's Arrived. To get that operation, you have to judge the Avar Chieftain after you complete the quests, I forget the name of them, in the Fallow Mire to save the Inquisition soldiers within this region. Once you've done that, you'll have the option to judge Morvan, the Chieftain, back here at Skyhold. And once you are able to judge him, you want to pick the Arm and Exile to Tevinter option. If you don't pick this, I do not think you will get the operation needed in order to get this weapon. So you want to make sure you pick Arm and Exile to Tevinter. And then once you get the operation, and, and after you should get the operation. So we head over to the War Room. Once this operation can be located on the Orlay side of the war table. Right here. Now what I did is I picked Josephine for this operation. With rifts contained in the area, we oh. can send in smaller groups to offer relief. I agree. Are you well? A headache. Nothing more. My apologies for that. Uh, so, when I did this operation the first time, I picked Josephine for it. I'm not sure if anybody else will still yield the same award, but for me at least, I picked Josephine. At your service. The operation will be complete, and there it is. The schematic for the dancer's axe. As well as some influence to go with it. Now I'll quickly go to the war room and show you what the axe looks like, as well as the unique ability that comes with it. And here it is, the Dancer's Axe. As you can see, it's a two-handed weapon. But the design of this it is a really cool design. I mean, I've come across many battle axes in games like this, Skyrim, Oblivion. Not many battle axes have impressed me so much, but this one, well, the style on this axe is really, really nice. The only battle axe style I like better than this is from Skyrim, the Wuthrad battle axe you get upon completing the Companion's quest line. But I digress. If you select the schematic, you'll see it has a unique ability. Enhanced basic attacks, you now whirlwind all the time. So for any two-handed warriors, like your Inquisitor or for Iron Bull, the whirlwind ability that you use, that costs stamina. But, you use this battle axe, your character, you or Bull or whoever, they will use Whirlwind for their basic attack all the time. It will cause no st cost no stamina, and Whirlwind will they'll just keep using Whirlwind repeatedly as long as you hold the attack button, which I find to be very neat. So I will go 
to another save I made to show you guys exactly to show you guys the axe, his abilities. It's well, it's a fight basically. So I'm go reloading a save to show you guys the axe in a fight. Take a second. Bear with me, please. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> you eat pork chops and a lot of couscous. It <laughs> comes back with a burp. All right. So here I am, and here is Bull with the dancer's axe. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out. This isn't like other two-handed weapons. You can actually use for any for most schematics you can install upgrades. You can do the same thing with this axe. It may be unique, but you can you can add a hilt or half rather and a pommel to go with it to provide the axe additional effects. So we're gonna go to the nearby fade rift over here by the Dalish camp to show you guys how this thing works in battle. Okay, here's the favorite. So let's see. So let's see how this axe. Whoa. That was weird. So now, it's, now I'll show you guys what this axe is done. As you can see, when you hold the attack button, you can literally use wood in all the time. Great way to do a regular attack without pocket terror. Oh, I want to Ah. It's a nice weapon with a, a decent warrior ability that you can use this weapon for as a substitute. While, while using another ability in the turn. And, and that is the guide on how to get Dance's Axe as well as its unique ability and nice design. If any of you, if any of you found this video to be very helpful in acquiring a new weapon, please like, don't be shy to comment, and subscribe if you feel like. With that said, have a good night and take care.